So you have your PC budget all set, but you're a little confused on which components you should spend the most money on. Well, I'm here to help. Today I'm going to show you how I allocate my funds for my PC budget into which components. So you have your PC budget all set, but now you're confused as to what components you should spend the most money on. Do you spend more on your GPU? Do you spend more on your CPU? Maybe that new sweet Lian Lee case is something that you should get? Well, don't fret. Today I'm here to help you. I'm going to show you how I allocate my budget for my PC parts when I'm building a PC. Now that budget could be $500, it could be $1,000, it could be $5,000. They all kind of break down into the same percentages, and I'll show you that today. All right, so before we get started today, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am going to start a series on not only how you should spend your money, which we're doing today, but I'm also going to do a series on how I pick PC components that fit into those budgets. So make sure to click that subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell and leave a comment and share it with your friends and anything else to help out the channel. All right, and so here's how I allocate my budget for a PC. So I'm gonna spend about 35% on core components. So the core components are your CPU, motherboard, and RAM. After that, I'm gonna spend about 30% on a GPU. From there, the PSU and the case are gonna be about 10% each, and that's gonna leave about 15% for storage. Now notice there's no budget in there for aesthetics. We'll get to that here shortly. Okay, so if we're following these guidelines for a $500 budget, that's gonna look like $175 for your core components, $150 for your GPU, about $50 each for your power supply and case, and about $75 for storage. Now, if your budget's a little bit bigger, say $800, then you'd be looking at your core components at about $280, $240 for your GPU, $80 for both your case and your power supply, and $120 for your storage. So just remember these are guidelines. If you spend about these percentages, you should end up with a very well-balanced PC. If you don't, and let's say you spend 60% on your GPU and you can only spend 10% on your CPU, you might get some bottleneck. Now remember, I said there's no aesthetics in this budget, and that's true, I did that on purpose. Number one, you should never prioritize aesthetics over performance. You wanna get all of your performance first, and then you can worry about how your computer looks. Secondly, for aesthetics, use the budget you already have. For example, if you have room in your budget for some RGB RAM instead of just regular RAM, use that to add some looks or some aesthetics to your PC. Alternatively, if you don't need something, let's say you're gonna do a build without a graphics card, I would argue why you need RGB in that build, but then you don't have to use that graphics card money, you can use that for aesthetics. Additionally, if you find a deal on CPU or something like that, use your leftover budget to go into aesthetics at that point. But without further ado, let's jump into PC Part Picker and I'll show you what each of these builds would look like. So here we are inside of PC Part Picker. And as you can see here, we've got the CPU, motherboard, memory, uh, storage, everything you'll need to put your computer together. We've already got picked out for an example here for you. So um, as you can see here, our CPU, memory, motherboard has gone a bit over our $175 budget for this build as we're about $200. And so at that point, like I said, this is kind of a guideline. We're gonna need to make some sacrifices elsewhere. So we'll move down and storage is pretty important. So I don't really want to, uh, to skimp there. Um, but for storage, you can see that we're gonna spend about $80 on storage. So once again, we're slightly over. Um, and I apologize for there not being a price for the Inland Professional Drive. You can get a 120 gig SSD for about 20 to $30. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Unfortunately, I didn't save the screenshot when I first put this build together. So it is a little over $500 just because prices of PC parts fluctuate all the time. But you'll get the point. So we didn't want to skimp on any more on storage because if you want to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, a terabyte drive is almost essential now if you play any other games with it, uh, just because of the size of the updates. Moving on, we've got the video card once again, around $150, it's now up to 160. And so where I made the cuts is in the case and in the power supply. So the power supply itself, don't go for the cheapest brand that you can get. You do want to get a reputable vendor. Um, however, what I've done is we are still 80 plus certified for it. However, it is not modular. So you do have a mess of cables that you'll have to hide, but it is what it is in that regard. Um, in addition, we have gone with a Cougar MX330. It's not the best case. It'll certainly get the job done, but it is it does come in at forty dollars so for both of those components we're able to go under our fifty dollar budget for them and give some of that money back 
Um, once again, this Cougar one, it does have some RGB in it. So kind of going back to my earlier point, which is you don't necessarily have to get rid of aesthetics altogether. However, you do have to make some sacrifices if your budget doesn't allow for it to make sure you still get the performance out of your computer. All right, so before we go through with the $800 build, uh, keep in mind that I will have both these lists linked in the description below. So if you wanted to check them out, um, also I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the list below. So if you do want to pick these up off of Amazon, if you use my links, I would greatly appreciate it because it does help out the channel. I do get a small percentage uh, for giving you the links and it costs no additional money to you. So if you do, thanks, really appreciate that. And if you don't, hey, that's fine too. All right, moving on to the $800 budget build, you can see, once again, we kind of went way over budget on the core components there. Uh, so we spent about $350 instead of the 280-ish that we had allocated. Uh, so once again, we'll have to make some sacrifices later on in the chain, uh, but with this type of budget, you're able to do that. So uh, as you can see, we've gone through, we have a, a Ryzen 5 3600, uh, and I went ahead because the prices for the B450 and B550 boards aren't that different right now. I went ahead and went for the B550 motherboard, so we have some more board compatibility with it. Um, however, if you can find a good B450 motherboard, be absolutely fine for this as well, and I'd suggest going that route and saving a few bucks. Um, for storage, we did go with a one terabyte SSD instead of a, a smaller SSD plus a one terabyte hard drive combo, uh, which is something that I'd really move towards uh, in, a, in a budget like this. Uh, certainly if you could spend up to a thousand, maybe you can put in a second mechanical drive, but for most of us, a one terabyte drive by itself would be absolutely fine. Um, if you did want to spend over this budget as well, you could look at NVMe options, but decent NVMe drives are usually around $120 or so, and we're trying to spend less because we did spend more money on our core components here. All right, and for the graphics card, I went with the 5600 XT. Uh, once again, it's around that $250, $260 range, and I apologize again, because the prices do fluctuate, so it's gone a little bit over the $800 we originally had, um, but such is life with PC components, sales come, sales go, all that good stuff. And then for this one, we did go with the Cooler Master Masterbox MB311. It does have some nice RGB in it, so you're able to uh, get a little bit more bling, a little bit more aesthetics going for your, for your money here. And then we finish it up with the power supply. Once again, it's a 500 watt, uh, which is plenty for this build. And it is bronze certified 80 plus. Uh, however, this time we've got a semi-modular power supply. So we weren't able to quite go fully modular with the budget, but we can get rid of a lot of the extra cables and make it look a bit better. All right, everyone. So I hope that helped you out and where to spend your money for your PC budget. Uh, if it did, make sure you toss a like. If you didn't, toss a dislike. If you do something different, leave a note in the comments. But like, subscribe, share, click the little bell notifications, all that good stuff. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.